Hi, Joe Peddler here from CropSmart. I'm here with Kieran Christian from Omnia, and we're here today to talk about the new product that CropSmart's got in their range this year, which is a seed primer from Omnia called Seed Boost. Kieran, welcome. Tell us a little bit about, little bit about Seed Boost. What does it have inside it? Thanks, Joe. Uh, Seed Boost is a well-balanced nutrient package, um, particularly phosphorus, zinc, and manganese. Um, which are proven uh, to be required in early, in those first few weeks of, of development. It's also got a, a few secrets in there, being kelp and amino acids and fulvic acids, just to stimulate root growth and get the crop away early. Okay, so essentially we've got a whole balance of nutrients carried by some organic ingredients. Is that what you're saying? That's right, yeah. So how does this actually work? So it's, you said it's a seed primer, not a seed coating. How does that actually work? Yeah, so a seed coating uh, sits on the outside of the seed and often uh, just then peels off once it's dry and becomes dusty. A seed primer will be carried inside the seed um, uh, and then that will actually add to your nutrient package that's inside the seed rather than sitting on the outside. Okay, so what have, what have growers actually seen when they're putting seed boost on their, on their seed and then they're out sowing? What are they actually going to see in your crop? Yeah, so when the crop's coming up, if you sort of run that seven to seven days to 21, 28 day time, you start digging up some plants, you'll see a difference in increased uh, root growth. That's probably the biggest thing you'll see. Um, and then you'll see uh, also some early vigor, which, um, yeah, just, just to help that crop get out of the ground if you've got some tough conditions. Okay, two key questions. What's this going to cost me and can I get a return on my investment? Okay, um, it's relatively cheap in that it's less than a dollar an acre. Um, which sits pretty well in your fertiliser budget, I think. And to answer the second question, we've returns of $20 to $50 for every dollar put in. Um, and to back that up, I guess, we've got some uh, trial data. If I switch to some from WA, we uh, stripped some crop at around two and a half tonne of the hectare with a 12% yield increase, which was $44 return on investment. Another one in Young at three and a half tonne uh, had a 10% yield increase which was $54 for return on investment. And the parks with a five and a half tonne yield, a little bit less in percentage, 7%, but it was $56 a tonne return on investment. Okay, so essentially what you're saying is if I go out and spend this $1 an acre, uh, $2.50 a hectare, then I'm gonna see returns of $20 to $50. That's what your trials are saying? Yeah, that's right, and not just trials, plenty of farmer strips and things as well, you know, often noticeable in, in the amount of yield coming back in. Okay, I've got a, a lot of my growers at the moment that have got high screenings this year, just the way the season panned out. Is there going to be any issues at sowing next year with having that smaller seed in my sample? Yeah, so a smaller seed uh, has less nutrients inside it than a bigger seed. Um, and that's one of the reasons you grade, uh, is to choose those better, healthier, more vigorous seed. Applying something like Seed Boost, you uh, actually increase the amount of nutrients inside the seed. Okay, so perhaps this is certainly a year which we could really look at that with where our seeds might be needing some extra nutrients. That's right, and I, I suppose with uh, some farmers even cutting some fertiliser here and there, just the increased uh, root uh, growth will be a good thing to try and pick up any nutrients that are out there as well. Okay, so essentially Kieran's asked, asked the quick key questions which is what is it going to cost me, um, what's my return on my investment, how does it work? I suppose at CropSmart we really see this as a great addition and a possible way in which you can deliver key nutrients to your plant early in the season, which is really the most important time in which we need them, isn't it, Kieran? So I do notice you got a Hawks hat on, Kieran. The Hawks, do you reckon they can do it again next year? Oh, with Hodgie there, of course they can. Hodgie. It's, it's the end of the season as well, not just the start of the season with, with the Hawks. This is true. All right, well, let's hope you're wrong. Thanks very much for coming along today, Kieran. Thanks, Joe.